Hey Tommy boy, uh, you were talking about your Petty John iron pedal, uh, how to set it and stuff. I've got the same one on my board here, so we're going to work on this a bit. Take your level and your drive and work those. I keep level up at noon and drive up at noon. Put everything up at noon at the top there. The big dials level and drive up at noon. It's a good place to start and turn, your, turn it on. Okay, uh, I keep my treble knob here all the way up. Uh, tone, I mean, and the mix knob, I, looks like I got it to the right, too. So, what I'm going to do, they're both up at noon, volume and drive level. I'm going to turn my drive level up now to 3 o'clock. So what you want to do is listen to your distortion, get it to the right amount where it's not totally metal and hissing and stuff. You don't want it too high, like... Too much. You want a little distortion. So you want to be able to hit it lightly. And you get clean tones. Hit it heavy, and you'll get distortion. This is what gives you dynamics. So people hear you play low sounds one way. When you dig into it, it sounds another way. So what I like to do is I get, get the distortion just a little higher than you want it. Bring your volume dial down just a touch. Remember, keep this in the treble pickup. Just slap that over to your right there. Let's turn down the volume dial a tiny bit. Okay, now I've got my drive on full, and I've got my level at noon. That also seems fine. On my rig, I got my drive all the way up on full, my level up on noon, tone is way up, the low cut switch is up, clipping is in the middle. Do I love this sound? Not really. It's okay. Low cut up, clipping switch in the middle. Bottom two dials are all the way up. Level is up, drive. I mean, level is on noon, drive all the way up, dimed on full. Now, if dimed is too much, just lower your drive a little. You want to have control, so you hear me? Shaking my cord, listen. It's too distorted, you don't hear all those nuances. Now, I've been using this distortion a lot, my Mr. Boost. With this echo unit, which also gives me distortion. So I think I like more treble. The treble kind of gives me another edge too, so. I would say, you know, try your Petty John full, full up and maybe think about getting a boost pedal instead. That might be kind of cool, you know. You could use your boost and your Petty John for like heavy distortion and use your boost for, um, you know, all, all, always on sound. So here's Mr. Boost. Here's Petty John. Slow that drive a little. I'm not digging the Petty John as much. Um, I like Mr. Boost. I like this Bump Boost destination. It's pretty cool. Off. Boosted with the Bump. Boost with 
Mr. Boost. Snappy Petty John. You can try the low cut switch to the bottom, might give you a little bit more bass. I like it up because it's treblier. Um, make sure your guitar is in tune. Mine is not. It's always going to sound crappy if you're not in tune. If, you're tu if your string is a little bit high, you could stretch it back into, into tune. For instance, okay, this B is high, so I'll pull it. Pull it, get the slack out of the string, and at the same time I tuned it. If your string is too high, pull it until it goes down enough. Make sure you're in tune. Stay on the treble position. Bump boost. Gives me treble, tiny bit of gain. Mr. Boost. Very light distortion and more treble. Almost to ACDC ter territory there. And then I've got this Valve Reaper. A little heavier too. It's a tube screamer. Then it's got a Klon Centaur, the Kursk pedal. That's smooth. I like it. It fights. There are different types of clipping, but they are very subtly different. Sometimes one just feels better. I think the Petty John might go. It became my least favorite. It used to be my most favorite, actually. And it's a great pedal, isn't it? got a lot of pedals and they're all very similar. Mr. Boost, I think it's still my favorite. So I had to get a tone, plug in, ease your level up to noon, and just start raising your drive. I say put everything on noon, the two top level, the two top dials, the big ones, put them on noon and then raise your drive until you feel comfortable. You could be comfortable at noon, you could be comfortable at three o'clock or all the way up dime. It depends on your rig and what you like. But you need a little bit of gain, otherwise your guitar just sounds just too dry. I think my echo unit is giving me some gain, yeah. You could just say, there's just no bite to it. This is no pedals at all. I add the bump, a little more, and then I add my echo. You hear that? I think my echo is one of the secret to my sounds, but I don't like to tell too many people that. It actually has an input and an output, so you could distort it within the echo pedal. But this is just a destination bump, which is the lightest distortion. Here's Mr. Boost. So the guitar sounds good, but with no pedals, it's horrible. I mean, it's okay, but it's like an acoustic, you know? It's just no sustain. So all these pedals just give me a bass sound. I could use any of these just to have my core sound for the night. Now if that's too distorted, I use my volume dial to lower it a little. And then I have to go cleaner. 
So I went to the bass pickup, I cleaned it up, and then I could do jazz. It's totally clean. I want distortion, I bring the volume back up, I go to the treble pickup, dig in. I want no distortion, I go down in my volume, or I just play lower, or I go to another pickup that's softer. You know what I'm saying? Totally pretty, clean. Turn it up, change pickups, play near the bridge, or five, away from the bridge, less bite. Where you play has a big difference. So I'm always going here, here, here to get different tones. When I want jazz, I play here. Watch. Switch pickups. Over here is trebly. So if I want twang, I go as close to the bridge as I can. Put it on the treble pickup, it's even better. Get it off the treble pickup, play over here. Using the thumb, the soft skin on my thumb. Soft. I want treble it, it's all in the fingers. Same riff, switch pickups, play over here. Treble means more distortion. So if I dig in over by the bridge, I'm gonna get more dirt. Less treble means less dirt. It's cleaner here. All right, this is another good lesson. Setting a tone, getting tone, using your fingers for tone, using your pedal to set a bass tone. This is my Klon, the Kursk pedal. Here's another one, the uh, Valve Reaper. Here's the Teddy John. So work with your pedal. Try to get the sound that you think is the best out of it and leave it there. Okay, there's my Petty John. Turn the drive up a little more. Could use it for more of a heavy drive pedal. I'm going heavy, I turn my volume down a little. It's a good core sound for all the time. With my, with my drive dimed on the Petty John. And then when I want to get into that super high gain, I just use my volume dial. I have that like as a NOS. I'll just bring it up to 10. And then I'm, a I'm going to say the Petty John Iron is not super high gain, so you could keep the drive on 10, you'll still be at this level. It's definitely a lower gain, so you could keep your level at noon, your drive all the way up, and just work with the volume dial and the drive dial to get it the way you like it. Low cut switch is up, click switch in the middle, okay? I've got my tone all the way up, and I've got my mix all the way to the right. Okay, let me put my echo back on. That's the iron. huge distortion but it's loud enough for you. If I want to add more I'll add a boost with it.
Probably not necessary. Petty John all the way dimed. That's how you use your Petty John, my friend.